Sorry. I thought June bugs were ladybugs. Now I thought those are different. I have my juice. Catch my drift? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did the other day. I hold my word. That's for damn sure. I hold my word. I tell people I'll do something, I'll do it. I'm married. Thanks, thanks. Sure did, yeah I did. The pool actually feels pretty good. Thanks for the follow. But yeah, the pool feels nice. From Brazil, what's up friend? I figured Brazil. I had a friend named Natalia that was uh, from Brazil when I was a kid. Her and I were best friends. Yeah, I thought June bugs were different. <laughs> how about I, how about y'all send in a lion and then I'll get in the pool? I wanted to make it outrageous. Cause I don't want to get in the pool. I'm in my comfy clothes. We're relaxing for the rest of the day. I've got my juice. And my husband's over there um, doing the lawn for our neighbor right now. The guy had just lost his dad, so he's uh, needed a little bit of need a little bit of help over there. Thanks for the follow. I get in the pool. Someone sent the lion. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy. I was gonna help him do the yard, but he insisted not let, not let me. Cause I, I will cut the yard. I don't mind doing it. I don't like to weed eat. I get exhausted doing that. But I was gonna cut the grass, but he wanted to do it. I feel bad for the guy. I don't really see him that often, but he's nice. I can't imagine losing my dad. Thanks for the follows. I don't know if he's almost done yet though. No, he can't be. He just left some, just left some, uh, he's 25, I'm 24. So I think we're a year and a couple months apart. So he was a grade above me in high school. And I knew him in high school, but we never met and like really talked until our first date. Oh, the guy that lost his dad. That's who you mean. Sorry. I went off thinking that you were asking about my husband. Um, 60s? 60s, 70s? I've never actually gotten to meet the guy and really talk with him. But I feel bad for him. But anyways... Thank you, Cameron. I appreciate that. Hey, friend. Yeah, I feel bad for him. Whenever he texted me that, I just, I didn't know really what to think. Like, you just, you, when you hear stuff like that, you think of your own family and, like, people you really care about. What, built this? Is that what you mean? I'm assuming so. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He put the stakes in and got it all set up. That's where our uh, Daphne machine for the pool, that's where the, uh, the power setup is. So it's a timer box that's set up for her. So when you go to press the power button in the settings, it shows how long you can have her run and she'll vacuum around the bottom of the pool. So she runs all the way in there. And you won't be able to see her because everything is like blue. But. No, I never graduated. I was actually a dropout. <laughs> he met me when I was in nursing school. But he was actually, he was with somebody in high school. Yeah, painting, painting. Pool cleaning made easy. I don't have a speech impediment, but I swear to God, some days I do. It is a big pool. I don't know how, how like, 
long and wide it is, like what the dimensions of it are, but it's got an eight foot end on that side. Yeah, nursing school, but dropout, I know. How impressive is that? 